In this video, we're going to take a look at the GAL 8A Avenger 30mm cannon, the heart of the A10 Warthog. Before doing so though, I'm going to set the altitude alert value to zero feet so I do not continue to get altitude warnings during the video. With that done, I'll set the master mode to guns. As part of the last year upgrade, the A10 has a precision attitude control system that allows much more accurate use of the gun. You first need to enable all four channels of the flight control system and enable the EAC, the Enhanced Attitude Control System. On the Armament HUD control panel, make sure that the master arm switch is set to arm in order to fire the gun. On the Dismas page, we can see that we have guns as the master mode and 1,150 rounds of combat mix. The gun switch has three positions, pack, safe, and without pack. On the HUD, you can see that we have CM with 1,150 rounds. I'm now selecting the nav point where our target is located. Time to take off the autopilot and do some river valley flying. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. The trick to such flying is flying the TVV or the total velocity vector and making sure it's just above the next ridge line. Pull up, pull up. When flying really low, make sure the dip wing doesn't catch the ground. Pull up, pull up. We're approaching some power lines, so do we go over or under it? Dumb question. Pull up, pull up. The A-10 can be loaded with three types of ammunition. First is combat mix or CM, which is a combination of armor piercing rounds and high explosive incendiary. This is best used for armored vehicles. Next is high explosive incendiary or HEI which is only high explosive incendiary rounds. This is best used for light armored vehicles and infantry. Finally, there's target practice rounds, or TP, and these are inert rounds that have tracers. Pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. For this first attack, I'm going to do so with the pack off. As such, when I fire the gun, it's going to recoil up. This allows the impacting gun rounds to cover a much larger area and is best used for infantry and light armored vehicles. It's most effective to walk the gun rounds through a large group of vehicles. When you want to have concentrated fire on a target such as a tank, then you will want to use the pack mode. Given the low resolution of this video, I'll zoom in a bit so you can better see what I'm doing. I'm using the CCIP gun reticle with a gun range below it and an unwinding bar indicating range as well. I'll fly to align the pipper with the target and squeeze the trigger. As you can see, the nose rises when I fire. The small green circles on the HUD are the bat symbols and indicate the predicted location of the round impacts. It's important to use small, short bursts for best accuracy. The CCIP invalid message indicates that the gun pipper is at an altitude greater than our current aircraft altitude. I'm now going to switch to the CCIP gun cross, which is a simple cross with the gun range below it. I'll also select pack mode now because the next target is going to be a tank. Both the CCIP gun reticle and the CCIP gun cross require good target elevation data. As such, you want to make sure that you have DTS selected as your elevation source up on the HUD. When attacking a tank with a gun, you want to make sure that you have CM loaded and attack the tank from the rear where its armor is thinnest.
optimal firing range is usually about 0.7 miles away and they usually cease firing at 0.5 miles away and then break off immediately. Most tanks have a pencil mounted machine gun so you don't want to get too close or it will fire back at you. I'll zoom in again so you can better see my attack. I'll carefully fly the gun pipper onto the target and then once I do I'll press the trigger to the first stage to stabilize it on there and then at about 0.7 pull the trigger all the way to fire. Breaking off. When using the pack, it's really important to use good smooth flying to put the pepper onto the target and hold it there using the pack and not opening fire until well within range. The key is not to over control and go to good solid track on the target as early as you can. If you do have an invalid CCIP message and need to get rounds on target, you can also use the 4,000, 8,000, 12,000 foot reticle seen here, each dot representing a fixed distance in feet. The final gun sight is the 4,000 foot wind corrected gun cross. This is calibrated to 4,000 feet. I hope you found this video useful on using the gun, its different modes, reticles, and some different tactics you can use depending on the different types of targets.